This is how Tom Holland went from a skinny theater kid to one of Marvel's most jacked superhero actors. Ever since his first appearance as Spider-Man, all the way back in 2016 Civil War, he has been using a unique diet and training strategy to get progressively more and more jacked and handsome for each of his subsequent appearances as Spider-Man. He even allegedly packed on an insane 14 pounds of pure muscle mass in just six weeks during his prep for Spider-Man Far From Home. I'm a personal trainer with over a decade of experience in the fitness world, and I'm gonna be breaking down all of Tom Holland's Spider-Man transformation secrets, and I'll be giving you a full training plan based off of them so that you can get ripped like Tom. Now right off the bat, we're gonna get a little handsy. This joke will make sense in a second. And talk about the number one most important factor in Tom's Spider-Man transformation, his unique diet strategy. Now, Tom has always been a bit of a artiste. Throughout his younger years, he was formally trained as a tap dancer, male ballerina, acrobat, and he even starred in many musicals, such as Billy Elliot. And while some older male ballerinas and acrobats are jacked as shit, by the time his first appearance as Spider-Man in 2016 Civil War came around, Tom Holland hadn't quite hit his artiste growth spurt. So Tom's personal trainer need to come up with a diet strategy that Tom could follow that would help him bulk up fast. But the challenge was it needed to be something simple that Tom could easily stick to while keeping up with his busy artiste schedule. So after some deep pondering, his coach landed on hand portion tracking. See, I told you the handsy joke was about to pay off. He landed on this as the best system to help Tom bulk up while staying as lean as possible. But what is hand portion tracking? because it's clearly not what it sounds like, which is a diet that solely consists of eating hands. It's a diet tracking strategy, where instead of weighing out all your food and putting that information to an app, you simply track how much you're eating each day by measuring it with your hands. This form of diet tracking is much simpler and easier to stick to than conventional diet tracking that requires scales and apps. So instead of having a daily calorie and macro goal, Tom's goal for his second solo Spider-Man film was to eat three to four meals a day that consisted of two fist-sized portions of protein, two fist-sized portions of carbs, and two fists of greens. Now Tom did his measurements only in fist-sized portions, but there is another more accurate way of doing hand portion tracking that was created by a company called Precision Nutrition. To make things more precise, they have people measuring their portions using different parts of their hands, not just their fist. And now you might be thinking it might be hard to remember all these different portions and how they relate to your hand, but I've put together some easy reminders so that you'll never forget. So with their system, you measure protein in palms because meat is meant to be slapped. You measure vegetables in fists, so that they can easily be punched away to make room for superior foods. You measure carbs in cupped hands so that everybody knows you want more. And of course, you measure fats in thumbs because they deserve two thumbs up. So jokes aside, similar to how you would have a protein, fat, carb, and calorie goal for each day with conventional food tracking, with hand portion tracking, you have a certain amount of palms, fists, cups, and thumbs of each food to eat each day to reach your goal. Since your hands are always with you, and once you're fully grown, they wouldn't really be changing in size, unless of course, you know, Mr. Human Growth Hormone pays you a visit, hand portion tracking makes for a very simple and convenient way to track your eating and reach your goals. Now with that being said, all that ease of use and convenience does come with less accuracy than conventional tracking methods. So if you want to be seeing results as quickly as possible, or your diet needs to be 100% on point for your job or your sport, then I would stick to more conventional diet tracking with a scale and an app. And if you're going to use an app, definitely use Macrofactor, the best tracking app on the market. Use code Demers for your first two weeks free. And to learn more about hand portion tracking and to figure out how many of each fist, cups, and whatever you need to be eating each day, I've linked an article explaining the process in depth along with a calorie slash hand portion tracking calculator down below so you can figure it all out. But just fisting your meals isn't going to be enough to get anyone ripped, no matter how hard you try. Trust me. So of course, Tom wasn't just focusing on his diet, but he was also hitting the gym hard. Now, just like Tom, everybody has that one goal that they're always dreaming about working on and achieving. Maybe it's getting into amazing shape, starting that business that you've had a banger idea for, or starting school part-time so you can increase your earning potential. But between full-time work, school, or raising a family, you don't have the extra energy or mental bandwidth that you need to actually get somewhere with these goals. And that's why I've partnered with LifeStacks, a product that will give you the willpower and energy boost that you need to achieve your loftiest goals. LifeStacks MCT is an energizing coffee creamer packed with nootropics and adaptogens for a daily performance boost. Simply add a scoop of LifeStacks to your coffee, mix thoroughly by hand or with a frother, then enjoy as LifeStacks boosts your willpower and energy levels so that you can stop procrastinating and get to work. Personally, using LifeStacks has been huge in increasing my productivity and income. 
Just the other day, I took it and crushed out nine hours of personal training, 90 minutes of video scripting, and an hour long workout all in one day with zero energy problems. So now get the energy and focus that you need to start chasing your dreams by clicking the link in the description of this video or in the pinned comment. Right now you can try Lifestacks for 20 to 25% off, but you gotta go fast because this deal won't last forever. Thanks to Lifestacks for sponsoring my channel. Now back to the video. So there are a few things that Tom's trainers need to keep in mind as they were designing his training program. Number one, typically in the comics, Spider-Man's body is portrayed as being lean, athletic, and muscular, similar to that of a real life acrobat or gymnast. So Tom's training plan needed to be geared towards developing this kind of build. You know, maybe somewhere in the Spider-Verse, there is a Spider-Man who looks more like this, but that's not Tom Spider-Man. Number two, since Tom actually does a lot of his own stunts, even for high profile roles like Spider-Man and Nathan Drake, Tom's training program needs to at least maintain and preferably increase his athletic performance and his resilience to injury. And number three, Tom's program needs to be something that can be completed relatively quickly so that Tom can get back to acting, slaying baddies, and doing whatever this was. That's interesting, must be a Hollywood thing. And Tom's trainers decided that the training methodology that best met Tom's needs was full body functional circuit training. Circuit training is the practice of taking a bunch of different exercises, performing them back to back for a number of rounds with very little rest in between the exercises. Since Tom's trainers wanted him working his full body, they designed each of his circuit training workouts to have one movement for each major movement type. A movement for the back of the legs, a movement for the front of the legs, an upper body vertical or horizontal pressing movement, an upper body vertical or horizontal pulling movement, and a bowel movement to clear his GI tract and to remove waste and toxins from the body. These were the general guidelines set out by Tom's trainer, Greg Ashwell, but not all of his workouts stuck to this exact structure, but they were generally pretty close. Now here's one of Tom's workouts that was shared on Men's Journal. If you guys are liking the video and want me to do one covering Tobey Maguire's training for his role Spider-Man next, please leave a like, subscribe, and comment Toby down below. Now since Tom never released the full details of his program, I went ahead and created a full functional circuit training program based off the information that we do have about Tom's Spider-Man training, and I'll be giving you that program for free at the end of the video. But is circuit training actually a good way to build muscle and get ripped? Well, unlike being bit by a radioactive spider, circuit training isn't all upside and actually has some real cons. So let's do a rapid fire round of pros and cons for circuit training. Pros. Circuit training workouts are fast. They can be done in 30 to 45 minutes. They are slightly better for fat loss than normal bodybuilding. You kill two birds with one stone because you get your resistance training and cardio done at the same time. Circuit training can be more enjoyable for those who like fast paced workouts. And when you tell people that you do circuit training, they might mistakenly think that you mean training for a race car circuit and you'll come off way cooler than you actually are. Cons. Less of a muscle building stimulus since your cardiovascular capacity is going to be more of a limiting factor than the strength of your muscles. People might mistake you for a crossfitter, making you come off as much less cool than you actually are. The workouts are going to be more fatiguing both mentally and physically because of the lack of rest and high volumes done in a short period of time. And there is a slightly higher risk of injury when compared to regular weight training since you'll be performing all the movements under fatigue. But all in all, circuit training is a fast and efficient way of working out and it's perfect for those of you who want to look like this, but it's not the way to go for those of you who want to look more like this. I spent like 10 minutes making that on Photoshop. Being a YouTuber is a weird job. Or maybe I'm just weird. So clearly this type of training and dieting worked wonders for Tom, and I'm certain it would for you as well. But it's important to have realistic expectations. Because remember when I said Tom Holland reportedly gained 14 pounds of pure muscle mass in six weeks during part of his prep? Well, that was fake news. Nowadays, you'll often see these crazy headlines that say actors put on 10, 20, or 30 plus pounds of muscle for a role in a crazy short amount of time. This is as the French say, le complete bullshit. Most of the time when you hear that a celebrity put on 20 pounds of muscle for a role in like eight weeks or something like that, it just meant that the celebrity gained 20 pounds of total weight, which was some combination of muscle, fat, and water weight. And they're just saying that all the added weight was muscle as it makes for a much more attractive headline and can hype up the movie or whatever project that they're working on. Now, some of you might be saying, well, maybe they did actually put on that much muscle that fast, but it was through the use of steroids, which is fair because a lot of celebrities favorite pastime is injecting muscle go-go juice into their posteriors. But even if you used the legendary secret steroid stack of the steroid king himself, putting on 14 pounds of pure muscle mass in six weeks is pretty unrealistic. So don't expect results overnight with this program. It's going to take probably about six months to a year of consistent training and dieting for you to see some really impressive results. 
but all that hard work will be worth it in the end, so make sure you stick with it. And as promised to help you out, I've created a full Spider-Man workout routine based off of Tom Holland's training, and you can download it for free with the link in the description of this video. This program is pretty advanced though, so if you're newer to fitness, go ahead and check out my 17-week at-home superhero body workout program first, and then move on to a more advanced program like the Tom Holland one. Now make sure to like this video, subscribe, and check out my video on Jason Momoa's three secrets for getting ripped, and I'll see you there.